हेलो क्लास इलेवेंथ स्टूडेंट टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट चैप्टर सिक्स टॉपिक इज डायग्रामेटिक प्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ डेटा विद इन दैट वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न बार डायग्राम एंड पाई पाई डायग्राम दिस इज पार्ट वन इन दिस चैप्टर वी आर गोइंग टू कवर दीज फॉलोइंग टॉपिक्स सो वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हियर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न डायग्रामेटिक प्रेजेंटेशन इट्स मीनिंग देन अबाउट दीज one dimensional diagram okay after that pi diagram and ultimately what are the merits and demerits of the bar diagram okay so these are the content of this chapter okay student so let us start it okay if you want to make a simple and attractive presentation the diagrammatic presentation is best okay student if you want to simple and attractive presentation to so diagrammatic is the best way and there are three type to present in diagrammatic way first is geometric form second is frequency diagram and third is arithmetic line graph okay student now that three things we are going to understand with this flow chart we can present we can represent data with the diagrammatic presentation with three way first is geometric form second is frequency distribution and third is arithmetic line graph okay so within the geometric form there are two thing bar and pi diagram in frequency diagram there is histo polygon or give and in arithmetic line graph there is time series okay so this is your chapter number 6 this is your chapter number 7 and this is your chapter number 8 okay to so, today this chapter present chapter is going to include two things bar diagram and pi diagram okay so this is the content of this chapter and all these things you are going to learn in seven chapter and about the line, uh, time series graph in eight chapter okay now let let us start with the bar diagram bar what do you mean by bar bar means rectangles what do you mean by bar bar means rectangle how we draw bar so bar means are rectangles so with the when we represent the data with the help of the rectangles so this is known as a bar diagram okay what is written here bar diagram are those diagram in which data are presented in the form of bars or rectangle so bar means what bar means rectangle okay bar are also called column now what are the features of the bar diagram so first of all light length or height of the bar is going to different yani it going to be long it can be short it can be too long okay so the height of bar is going to be vary according to the value of data okay but breadth breadth remain the same but breadth remain the same what do you mean by breadth okay what do you mean by breadth to so suppose this is your one rectangle this is your second rectangle and this is your third rectangle so what there will be the same difference and these this is known as a widened or breadth this is going to be same for each bar yeah each rectangle so that is written here there will be uh, differences within the height but they the the breadth ya yeah, fir widened will be same okay bar may be either vertical or horizontal what do you mean by vertical and horizontal okay so vertical means when we draw like this so this is what this is your vertical if you draw like this so this is what this is your horizontal okay so this is vertical this is horizontal and uh, uh, mostly which form is used vertical form is used okay now all bars are based on the uh, some common base line okay after that 
this bar can be in the ascending order or in descending order and uh, we can make the differentiation with uh, different different color or different different pattern okay like uh, if i draw this bar i can use this pattern for one bar and i can use this pattern for another art otherwise i can use uh, different colors suppose i had draw these two bars and i can fill these bars with different color okay so this is your first and i can use another color so it make more att attractive and uh, uh, it make more easy to compare okay so these are the things are given here now i'm going to explain it with the example first of all uh, we are going to understand ki within the bar diagram which what we are going to learn so within the bar diagram we are going to learn simple bar multiple bar subdivided percentage broken and bilateral or deviation bar diagram so we are going to learn it one by one okay now what are simple bar diagram so simple bar diagram is related to what when only one one when only one characteristic of data is represented then it is known as a simple bar diagram like if there is only given birth rate or only given death rate or only given number of the student or only given the number of the married ya yeah, unemployed so this is what this is simple bar diagram okay <coughs> these diagram can be draw horizontally or vertically so this if you draw this way so this is what this is your vertical and if you draw this way so this is your horizontal okay student now only length or height yani this height is taken in consideration to compare why because it going to reflect the magnitude okay uh, actually widened widened is going to be same for each bar to so for the making compare we only use height of the bar okay so these are things given here now here is given data regarding export of india and you have to represent these information within simple bar diagram with vertical way okay so here you can see ki export data is given in lakh from 2010 to 2018 when we represent it within simple bar diagram so we find this type of diagram you can see the ki widen widen of each bar is equal and the distance between each bar is equal so this is the feature of the bar diagram now only height yani ki this height only height is used to make the compare that is why it is considered as a one dimensional diagram okay why because only length is used to compare now if if we we see see this diagram to easily we can tell that ki there are maximum export in 2018 why because this bar is having too much height in compared to other okay the second highest export is done in year 2012 and uh, least in 2016 and 10 because this bar height is equal to 40 lakh okay so in this way simple bar diagram we are going to represent only one feature one characteristic yani only export only import or only birth rate or only death rate only one one okay and what you have to keep in mind when you are drawing the diagram it is your baseline there will be same difference between each bar and the widened of each bar is going to be equal length is going to vary according to the value of data okay so this is known as a one dimensional why because only length is considered for making compare now that is vertical way now same data is represented with the uh, horizontal way so this is your horizontal way and this is your vertical way but uh, majority of the people use this vertical way okay student now next is multiple 
bar diagram multiple simple means one characteristic one information you are going to represent in multiple two are more than two to remember multiple is related to what multiple is related to two are more than two sets of data simultaneously presented so this is known as a bar multiple bar diagram okay and it is used to make comparison between two sets of series like marks of uh, girls marks of boys okay With, uh, birth rate and death rate so there are two things are taken and represented simultaneously to making compare now separation is done with the help of different color okay and are different pattern so this make more easy to understand it gives uh, more comprehension to your data and to your diagram okay now here is given one uh, information that you have to represent within the multiple bar diagram here you can see ki here is given distribution of student according to the stream in the college here in 2015 these are the data how much a student had taken admission in 2016 then 2017 when we are going to represent these data in multiple bar diagram so this will be like that okay student and here you can see ki there are three set of data here is three set of data 1 2 3 to multiple is related to what two are more than Two. So this is known as a multiple. Okay, multiple uh, bar diagram. Okay. Here you can see if it is given. Here is only given arts are only commerce are only science. So it becomes simple. But there are more than two. So this is what this is your multiple diagram. Now here represented all the three. Then sixteen all the three and for the seventeen all the three. Now these bar. to make it comparison there is given the key light color light pink color is used for art stream dark orange is used for commerce and gray color is used for science now easily you can understand ki in which years there are more admission in science so in 2017 and in commerce in 2015 okay so in this way you can see ki it become very easy to making the compare okay so this is your multiple bar diagram now next is subdivided bar diagram or differential bar diagram what is subdivided bar diagram okay look at here here are here given the data regarding 2015 then 2016 then 2017 when we are making uh, सब डिवाइडेड बार डायग्राम तो वी हैव टू मेक द टोटल ऑफ इट तो आफ्टर दैट वी आर गोइंग टू ड्रा द वन सिंगल वन सिंगल बार यानी सिंगल रेक्टेंगल एंड विद इन दैट वी आर गोइंग टू सेडेड दीज या वी आर गोइंग टू पुट दीज वैल्यू सो दिस इज योर सब डिवाइडेड बार डायग्राम ओके तो वॉट इज रिटर्न हि देखो वॉट इज सब बार सब डिवाइडेड बार डायग्राम those diagram which is simultaneously present total value as per part value or set of data different part of the data are shaded with the colors however different part of a bar must be shown in a same order for all bars of diagram so remember in sub divided bar gram there is only one one bar and within that you are going to present art commerce and science for 2016 then 2000 17 okay student so let me understand <coughs> more thing are given here so while preparing sub divided bar diagram the various component in each bar should be kept in the same order in order to make distinction among the different component it is necessary to use different color or sets a simple a suitable index should be given in order to explain this different color or sets sub divided bar diagram are very useful in comparing size of different component parts and for throwing light on the relation among these integral part for example such diagram are used to represent 
cells proceed from different product expenditure pattern of the family and budget outlay for the receipt and expenditure okay so these are thing are given about the subdivided bar diagram what you have to keep in your mind ki in sub divided bar diagram there will be only there will be only one rectangle and within that you are going to represent the value and for making the differentiation you are going to use different pattern or different colors and you have to write here about that ki orange is for commerce red is for this so this is your key notes okay that you have to give and as well as okay now illustration so here is given data regarding production of elect electricity <coughs> from different sources from 2015 to 2017 to 18 this is a hypothetical not a uh, realistic data okay now it is given in millions kwts q what okay now year is given 2014 to 15 then 15 to 16 then 16 to 17 then 17 to 18 hydroelectricity its production thermal electricity its production total production okay whenever you are going to draw some sub divided bar diagram okay whenever you are using to present data sub divided bar diagram you have to first of all make a sum total if not given and in this way the bar first bar height will be equal to 110 second bar height will be 121 third bar height will be 130 and the fourth bar will be its height will be 140 okay so in this way the height of bar will differ and all these two data is going to be represented within that suppose for example i am going to draw this is your first bar and it is 110 and now this will be 46 and this will be 64 we are going to make differentiation with the different pattern or different color and we have to write here ki this will be for uh hydroelectricity and this will be for thermal electricity okay now here you can see ki uh, the data are represented in uh subdivided bar diagram so you can see ki the height of bar is according to the total of the value 110 120 One one thirty one forty. Now, hydroelectricity is represented with the orange color, and thermal electricity is represented with the yellow color. Now, forty six is your hydro, sixty four is your thermal, forty nine is your hydro, seventy two is thermal. In two thousand fifteen to sixteen, you can see that the widened, widened of each bar is same. Different between each bar is same. Height vary, and this height is drawn on the basis of total of the data. <coughs> so I think you are able to understand. Now next is percentage bar diagram. They go percentage bar diagram and subdivided bar diagram. Both are the same way, same way drawn. There will be single. rectangle or single bar within that value are represented but what is different it is percentage sub divided bar diagram what is another name percentage sub divided bar diagram so first of all we have to calculate percentage and then we are going to represent so in this way height of each bar is going to be equal why because 100 100 100 and within that we are going to represent it so what is written here okay percentage bar diagram are those diagram which show simultaneously different part of the value of a set of data in terms of percentage in terms of what in terms of percentage total value indicated by total length of the bar assume to be 100 kyunki sabki sabki height ke percentage mein convert kiya jata hai to 100% hota hai theek to isliye sab sabhi bar ki height kya hogi 100 100 to percentage bar diagram mein sabhi bar ki jo height hai wo equal hogi kyunki wo percentage mein hum denote kar rahe hain on the other hand if we talk about subdivided bar diagram to wahan pe vary karega kyun kyunki wahan percentage mein nahi explain kar rahe hain total ke hisab se okay remember that Each bar throw off is shown as a part of hand. These parts may be shaded with the different color in order to highlight the difference. 
in fact these diagram are different form of subdivided bar diagram the percentage bar diagram are used generally when value are of height high magnitude okay when there are data are too much high magnitude 3000 5000 uh, 1 lakh so it is very tough to represent with the subdivided bar diagram so in this way first we convert into the percentage and then so okay in such cases the use of subdivided bar diagram may not be appropriate why because when the value of high magnitude some parts of bar may look very small and some are very large so this is why we use percentage bar diagram okay student <coughs> now here is given some important thing about subdivided percentage bar diagram so subdivided diagram is used to show absolute magnitude of various component these magnitude can be changed into relative value by converting them as a percentage of the total each component of data is expressed as a percentage with res with respect to corresponding total thus in a percentage bar diagram all bar will be will be height of 100 ye important hai this is important while the various segment of the bar is representing the different component will vary in height depending on the percentage value of the total as i stated earlier different component are distinguished from each other by the different color and sets okay now here is given present the information of wheat and rice right production in percentage sub bar diagram okay so how it is done here you can see so it is production this is wheat this is rice right. first we do the sum total now we are going to convert into the percentage so percentage will be 40 100 and some total of it will be 100 again 2000 when we get the total then okay how we calculate percentage so percentage for converting into the percentage it will be 400 upon 1000 multiply 100 so 0 0 cancel this 0 also cancel now it become 40 percent so in b i tell you how it is calculated so it will be 1200 upon 200 multiply 100 00 cancel this 0 cancel okay okay not this uh, wait okay i am going to show how it is calculated so it will be 1200 upon 2000 multiply 100 so 0 0 0 0 cancel this 0 cancel now 2 six ja 12 so it become 60% so this is calculated okay now this one so it will be 100 upon 200 multiply 100 now 0 cancel 0 cancel this 0 cancel okay 2 0 this 0 cancel okay 2 2 is a 4 so this become 40% okay so in this way you can going to calculate percentage so first you calculate sum total then you have to divide that data with the sum total multiplied by 100 so you are going to convert into the percentage so first you going to convert into percentage now you are going to represent only this so here you can see ki total will be equal to height of bar is equal now wheat is represented with the gray color and rice is presented with the orange color okay so this is what this is your percentage sub divided bar diagram ya percentage bar diagram what is percentage bar diagram in this data are represented first of all in percentage and then this is represented it okay and that is why the height of the bar is going to be same for every every bar height is going to be same okay now next is deviation bar diagram what is deviation bar diagram so deviation bar diagram used to compare the net deviation of related variable with the respect of time or location 
bar represent positive as well negative deviation okay so in this way when you are we when you show any data any diagram where you are presenting positive as well as negative so this is known as a deviation bar diagram okay student now deviation bar are used for representing net changes in the data like net profit net loss net export net import only changes are represented not the original data these diagram can have both positive and negative value positive value are shown above the ab above o axis and negative below the o axis okay now here you can see ki there is given these data you have to uh, draw this data by the deviation bar diagram so here you can see ki your data when you are going to represent the positive positive value is going to on o axis and uh, negative value below the o axis so this is what this is your deviation bar diagram that is going to represent both plus and minus and it is going to represent only net change okay not the actual value suppose your income is 200 now it become 220 so what will be changed to so del y is equal to what y1 minus y yani ki 220 minus 200 so in this way what will the value 20 so this 20 is presented with the help of deviation bar diagram okay student thank you for today